Hey everybody, today I am going to use a new product, Unicorn Spit. It's made by a company called Eclectic Products and they were gracious enough to send me a complete set of colors as you can see and I will go around and mention all the colors and then what I'm going to do is draw out a design on this 18 inch piece of wood that is about an inch thick. So it could be a piece of artwork, it can be a Lazy Susan. The, th the thing about the Unicorn Spit is it is water based, it has a wonderful uh, jasmine scent and it can be thinned down with water up to 70 percent. So you can make it very transparent and watercolory if you want to. It is called a gel stain and glaze, but it is also made to be on the, the opaque side if you don't want to thin it out. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to go a little bit more opaque, I think, if it will work for me, using Famo Wood Glaze Coat, which is a resin. And I will seal it with that because with Unicorn Spit, you have to seal it with an oil-based sealer, prime, uh, sealer, varnish, or resin. If you were to seal it with a water-based product, it will reactivate the product and you don't want that to happen. So it does have to be sealed with an oil-based product or resin. So just very quickly, I wanted to show you the beautiful colors. This one is Golden Gosling, which is a very shimmery gold. This is a very shimmery Sapphire Swift. This green is Lavish Lovebirds, Dolly Firebird, so it's very shimmery, very gorgeous metallic looking. Starling Sasha, which is a hot pink. This one is Violet Vulture, which is a very vibrant purple metallic. And then the rest of these will be regular colors. This one is Purple Hill Majesty, Blue Thunder, Zia Teal, Navajo Jewel, Dragon's Belly, Lemon Kiss, Phoenix Fire, Molly Red Pepper, Pixie Punk Pink, Squirrel Light Brown, Rustic Reality Dark Brown, Midnight's Blackness, which is black, Weathered Daydream, which is a gray color, and White Ning, which is white. So I'm going to use a mixture of these colors, but before I do that, I need to draw out my design. And I'm just going to kind of create my own design. So I think I'll do it in a pencil. I would like, I'm going to do, uh, I think, multiple kinds of flowers. So I'm going to just kind of sketch out what looks kind of like a tiger lily, maybe. Okay, so I think I have my plan sketched out, and now it's just a matter of painting in the colors. I'm going to use the plastic that's over a canvas for my palette, and I've got my water here, my brushes, I have paper towels. And I'm just going to get busy starting to paint.
my project has dried beautifully. There's so much shimmer with the metallics from the unicorn spit. You can't probably see it, but hopefully I'll get some good shots of it at the end of the, uh, after the resin has dried. There's some shimmer in the golden color, the yellow colors, the blues and purples. It's really beautiful and some greens. I did use some of those metallic finishes for that. So right now I have it set up. You always want to make sure your project is totally level in both directions. And it's up high. The other thing is I have it taped off with masking tape along the edges of my project so that any drips on the underside I can just peel off the tape. Otherwise it's like really really hard to get those drips off. It's best to tape off the underside of your painting or project to protect it from the drips. So it most likely will take two coats. I'm going to see how it goes because this black line that is the outline is a little raised so I want the resin to totally cover this and then actually be a layer maybe above the black outline. So it's most likely going to take two coats, but you just want to make sure there's no debris left on it or anything like that. And I have cups on all four corners to keep it raised up so that when I, after I pour the resin, I can lay something over this to keep it covered so there's no dust or animal fur or anything that has any contact with that resin. You want it to be totally dust free while it's drying and curing. I've got my heat torch to get rid of any air bubbles. Then also you need something with clear measurements on it. So I have some plastic cups that show the measurements in these cups and I'm going to probably do about four to five ounces of each. You have to do equal parts of the part A and part B and then you will combine them into one container and stir for six minutes. Then you'll transfer it to the, a container again and stir for another six minutes. And I will fast forward for, through all that because you don't want to wait 12 minutes while I'm stirring. But I just wanted you to understand the process. So the first thing we'll do is open up both parts, the A and the B. You also want to have a mask. I've got a mask on to protect me from any toxic fumes or anything like that. And you want to be wearing gloves. So always use caution when you are working with products like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure out I think I'll do just four ounces, which is half of this bottle. And then exactly the same amount of the hardener. So equal amounts. Make sure it's totally equal. And you're going to pour the B into the A. So I'm actually going to stir the first time into the, the one cup. And you really don't want to waste any of the product because you want to make sure you have all of it. So I'm now going to stir this for six minutes. So I'm going to start my timer.
Now we're going to do another six minutes. Okay, so I've got it mixed up. And also when you're mixing this, you can tell pretty much the heat from the cup or whatever you're mixing in. You can feel a heat that remains, that, that means you have a chemical reaction going on which is what you want. I have gotten the bubbles out. The coat of resin was just about perfect. It was um, 8 ounces total for an 18 ounce, I mean an 18 inch round wooden Lazy Susan. I'm going to let it sit for about 4 or 5 hours and probably come back and put a second layer on. So just stay tuned for the rest of it. Turn the lights off so it's no glare. It deepened up the artwork, which is fine. I will show you different shots of it once it is totally dried and cured. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to show you how to work with Famo Wood Glaze Coat Resin and show you how to mix it up. This is made by Eclectic Products. You will need two measuring cups, very clearly marked with ounces. I order mine from Amazon. You will be putting two parts in, the A and the B. The B is the hardener that goes into A, the resin. So the combination of the two, and they need to be an exact amount in each cup. It's always good to wear gloves to protect your hands and a mask for safety caution. So I'm pouring the, I had already used half of this bottle, so I'm pouring the, re, the remainder into the A cup and the B, the hardener step, goes into the second cup. The same exact amount. So you're going to put the B into the A. and use a, a nice long plastic or wooden stick to scrape it. Start your timer at six minutes and I will fast forward. So when you're finishing the cup up at the end of the six minutes just make sure to scrape around the edges really really well throughout the mixing process and it will start to feel like it's heating up a little bit. Setting the timer for the next phase of the mixing and as I'm showing you here just keep scraping around the sides as you continually mix through your product and I now I'm transferring it into the new clean cup. I've got my timer set for six minutes. Scrape around all the edges You'll feel a warmth. Start the timer. Just finish the second round of six minutes. Turning the timer off. It felt warm and it's ready to go. You're ready to pour onto your project. Okay, so I have my Lazy Susan 
out on my work surface and I've already had I already have one coat of resin on it so I'm wiping over it with some alcohol just to remove any oily residue from fingerprints or anything like that this just removes any thing that you may have put on it since you've touched it and I'm just blowing just to make sure there's no lint or anything left over from the cloth then you also want to check and just make sure you are level that's key with resin because it's going to self level so I'm finished stirring my resin earlier and just pouring it on the surface again and I always leave just a little bit in the cup if I need it for any divots or anything where I might have a spot that I'm missing some so that was way sped up with me working the resin on and here I'm popping bubbles with the heat torch so you want to just make sure you do a really thorough job of that and that was sped up as well I took several minutes to use my heat gun or my heat torch to pop the bubbles there and you just really need to look closely from all angles to make sure you've gotten rid of any air bubbles in the resin and then I'm just running my fingers around the sides and underneath because it's so much easier to not have the drips to dry on your tape dripping down it's easier if you just kind of get it with your fingers and I even will come back later and use a stick and just kind of level out any drips and scrape that down so that you don't have that extra harden resin when you're finished with your piece and then you can remove your tape from underneath and it'll make a nice clean edge and then it's important at the very end just to have something in the four corners if you're propping something on top or if you're placing a box over your finished project or whatever I'm going to be placing a canvas I'm just zooming in here real quick for you just to get a closer look it's just got a beautiful glass like finish it's so hard to to show you from this angle because you can't move the piece but I'm just placing a larger piece which is a canvas over right over the surface of my resin to make sure there's no dust or any kind of particles that can land and you'll have 24 hours for it to cure okay so here is the final piece all finished and look at that beautiful resin it's all shiny it really cured well I did two coats that was all I needed it is just nice and slick and it brings out all those sparkles and depth of color so here is the finished turn that light off so it's not reflecting as badly the finished piece all shiny and perfection so I hope you enjoyed this video Go get your unicorn spit and your Fama Wood glaze coat resin. Enjoy!